Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to connect your Slime VR trackers to Waterdo. So that way you can use Slime VR for VTubing, whether it's full body tracking, upper body only tracking, or what I do is having arm only tracking to replace my leap motion and use it with a stretch sense glove. So, Either way, before we do get started though, I do need to elaborate some stuff for my absolute beginners. If you're an absolute beginner in Wadudo, I do leave a stream tutorial in the description below, as well as a beginner uh, a beginner friendly tutorial, uh, a video. So there's a video and a stream tutorial, there's two of them, so if you don't know how to use Wadudo and you really need like serious help, uh, like guidance, check those out. Those should help you out on at least getting the hang of Wadudo and... Besides that, if you're an absolute beginner when it comes to Slime VR, I will leave the official tutorial on how to connect your Slime VR trackers to your PC uh, that the Slime VR team made. So please check that out so that way you can at least get to where I am where my trackers are already like working over here. The arms are all good. So just want to make sure that you're on track uh, or up to speed. So once we have our Slime VR trackers working, we're happy with it and ready to go, what we're going to then do is we're going to go into our settings. Then we're going to go down to under OSC. Then we're going to go where there is VMC. So go over here. Make sure to click on enable right here. And then make sure that you uh, the default port number should be fine. But if you are going to be mixing different motion capture solutions, you may want to change the number depending on what you're doing. So I changed mine because I use stretch sense gloves and my stretch sense gloves works as specific port number. So for my case, I have to change slime VRs, but it should be fine. The default should be fine for you, but if you have to change it, it's okay. Just remember this number. That's what I'm asking you. Remember this number. Now, if you are, uh, if you are like a seated user, like you know, you're not using uh, slime VR for full body tracking, or maybe you have full body tracking, but you only want to sit down and just have. The, you want to have full body tracking while sitting down then I do recommend messing with these settings setting up a head anchor as well as making sure that you have anchor at hips this should help you out so like if you have like a slime VR tracker as your head tracking or something or you want to make sure you're se seated these two things are really good for that but otherwise if you are going to be moving around from one place to another with your slime VR trackers you may want to disable at least the anchor at hips though but again uh you know you can mess with these things and if you have any question like any further questions regarding these two uh especially if you run into issues then i will leave in the description the slime vr discord server if you have any issues but otherwise though the main thing we are concerned about is enabling here and the port number so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and hide slime vr for a moment now there are two ways you can connect slime vr into Waterdo. uh now i i can understand this could be a little overwhelming but there's either onboarding assistant which is beginner friendly and then there is character and then there is motion capture this is nice for advanced users who probably need to do like some very specific stuff uh but usually especially if you're gonna be having like finger tracking that you want to work with slime vr and you want to have just an easier time setting up i would personally recommend onboarding assistant but if you know how to manually set up blueprints and stuff then by all means you could do that for advanced users but we're gonna go here so onboarding assistant and if you uh delete this by accident or something like that you can always add it back by going to add asset scrolling all the way down to miscellaneous and then onboarding assistant with a little noob face here should be right there. So you can add that there. You can only load one, but go ahead and click on get started. We're going to make sure to click the character of choice. You can load your character by clicking on characters, open characters folder here and loading your VRM or Wadudo avatar file here and then clicking on OK. Now I'm going to click on no, I'm no I'm going to use because I no, literally know what I'm using. If you are a beginner, you could use this, but this is more recommended for those who are absolute beginners and have no full body tracking really. This, we do know what we, we're using. We're, we're, we're using slime VR in this case. So click OK. And then for my face tracking, I'm going to set this to eye facial mode cap. For the post tracking, I'm going to set this to VMC. It literally says slime VR here, so you know this is correct. And then if you want for finger tracking, you can set it up to be, let's say, your leap motion 
controller or stretch sense or media pipe for webcam finger tracking whichever you like so you can set that up now before we click on this ok button we do need to do some configurations because this really depends on are you a full body tracking user or half body like me uh, for the sign VR stuff so pretty much I'm gonna go into customize face tracking here now if by any chance uh, let's say you are gonna be doing this for full body tracking I would recommend uh, it, if you want, like, just, just to be safe, make sure to have the enable head body movement, set that to no, and then make sure that the idle head animation, you can set that to disabled if you prefer, or, uh, if the, if you prefer to have, like, an idle animation play when you're, or at least for the head, uh, when your eye facial mode cap or, you know, your face tracking is covered up or disabled, it, it can play a uh, idle animation, but you can set that to disable for full body tracker tracking users. And then if you want, uh, especially if you're going to do a lot of camera stuff, you can also disable this for full body tracking users. But otherwise, though, you can mess with these things. But if you are like half body or, uh, or maybe you're only doing full body tracking and you're only sitting down like only, you could leave it as is. But otherwise, for full body tracking, you may want to disable some of those settings. But I'll leave this as is, though. And then for VMC here, I'm going to customize the pose tracking here. For my case, uh, I'm not using full body tracking. I'm literally using this for arms only. So for track full body, you can leave this as yes if you are full body tracking. But for my case, I'm going to set it to no because I only got the arms. So I'm going to set this to head. Uh, I'm going to remove the head here. I'm going to remove pelvis. And I'm going to remove fingers and the legs because I'm only using slime BR for the arms. I can mirror the tracking and also port number very important here. So in slime VR what the number at port out here make sure it's the same as the one Wadudo has. If it's not make sure to type in that number that you inputted. So for my case I put this one because it works with my stress sense gloves when I combine it. But for your case, you can leave it as the default number that you have. But otherwise, I'm changing mine. And I'm going to click on OK. And then uh, for the con the secondary post controller here, uh, you can also like double check if you like. Uh, but it should be fine already. This will track the fingers only. But otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. And then I'm going to click on OK. You, you know, you can double check to make sure everything is to your taste. But I'm going to click on OK. And, yep, uh, detected the, uh, okay, detected full body track, uh, full body pose tracking template, but head and body movements are enabled for face tracking. Do you want to disable the head and body movement from face tracking? No. Uh, no. Um, for my case, I want to have it going. There you go. Yeah, it's very important to read that. There you go. So I have my head tracking working, so it works well with half body tracking, but again, if you are full body tracking, like I said, you just have to make sure to disable the head and body movement for face tracking and then set up the entire body uh, to work and such. So there you go. I have leap motion for my finger tracking and then slime VR for the arm tracking. You can tell because I'm not having any much occlusion, so this is really cool. And then you can, of course, set the other stuff that you have but i'm gonna just ignore that because this is this is fine but you can continue with the rest of the basic setup if you like but that's pretty much how i set up my slime vr tracking and again for full body tracking it's also very simple it's just a matter of what settings you are going to be using but you can see though it's working quite fine uh there's my finger tracking and then slime vr so Otherwise, uh, if you are having issues with connecting Slime VR to Waterdo, there is a Slime VR Discord server if you're having trouble with the trackers themselves or the Slime VR program. But if the issue, if you're struggling with Waterdo itself, then there is a Waterdo Discord server you can refer to for help regarding connecting your motion capture device. So there'll in the description below, uh, there are those two Discord servers. I'll also be leaving any other resources such as tutorials or where to look at so that way you can know how to like 
get started with this stuff so that way you can have fun with VTubing, uh, with your Sun VR trackers and such, and also having fun with water though. But I hope that tutorial helps you out. And again, also, I'll be leaving a firewall uh, tutorial as well. So if by any chance uh, you are having a hard time connecting your, let's say, your iPhone or your trackers to any, like, like let's say you're, um, Try and connect your uh, Slime VR trackers uh, to water though, but you're having issues with it. You can make sure that in the firewall you can add both water though and Slime VR if you haven't. Uh, there will be that tutorial in the description. But again, the Discord servers are there for further assistance. And I hope that you do have a lovely day though. And I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!